what's up again it's me Tunji from CZ graphics I want to say a big thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and if you're new to my channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and um, if you love my video please hit the like button also and um, if you have any comment please there's a comment box below that you can just um, say one or two things about what you think I can improve on in my tutorial this is what we're going to be working on and I have all my SSS files ready I have them here as usual and I um, already have my pictures cropped I actually did that so as to not to waste time let's just jump right in okay so the first thing we're going to do as usual is to create a new document alright so I'm gonna give this um, six six three four by double eight two I'll leave it at I was leave it as three hundred and I'll say create all right so I have a document created and um, let's start bringing in content so first I'd like to bring in the background which is um, this so I'll drag this and drop here all right I'll increase the size a little bit I'll make a copy and I'll push this up create a mask select brush All right. and I'm gonna choose um, a soft round brush because I'm trying to blend the backgrounds together okay so be black so brush now Okay, so I'm going to bring in the boots. All right, the boot position is here. This one right here. Look at a little bit. This is not good, so I'm gonna brush to clay it out. Okay, so I think this is nice now. And um, I'll bring it. I'll bring in this. Increase the size. I make it be behind this layer. Create a mask. And I'll brush. Let's zoom in so I can see what I'm doing clearly. So I'm brushing it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um going to bring this in first. Alright. And I'll create a mask and I'll fill it with some um, black. Then I'll select brush. I have a Okay, so I think this is the brush and I'll uh, oh. I think it's this one, I guess. Okay, still the size. Make sure this is set to white. And um, I'm gonna zoom in. Now start brushing. To get this type of brush aligned, just search for uh, grunge brush. I'm sure when you search for grunge brush online, you should have. Um, it doesn't have to be this exact brush, okay? You can just search for any grunge brush online, and you have this. All right. 
and um, I'll reduce the size again and I'll start brushing brush it so make a copy flip it position this here and this time I'll change this to white to black now I'm trying to clear off this um, lighter part from the layer all right I don't want it to be too visible on this side and I want a um, few part of my the the sole of the boot to be visible I'm going to move this back to be on this side and um I'll scale it up a little bit just a little bit I'll push it up okay So I'll bring in the next um, image, which is this. So I'll push this up and I'll zoom out. Then I'll do the same thing. About this time, I'll hold on Alt and click. All right. And um, then I'll go again to my brush set and pick um, another set, another type of brush. So I'm gonna use this this time. Um, okay, let me use this. There it is the size and I'll brush. Actually, I don't want my brush to be too big, so Alright, so then I'll bring in my um, my dust here. And I'm gonna rotate it this way. That's great. Yeah. Push up this here. Push this up but just a little bit. And there's the size. Put a mask. So but for this, I'm gonna use a saffron brush. So I'll come here. this okay so make a copy and position it here okay and um come here and then make a mask I mean sorry not a mask I'm gonna create a layer and I'll call this burn choose overlay fill with overlay say okay and I'll come and choose burn 2 I'll start brushing Okay, good. So I'll do the same thing again. 
but this time I'll use um, I'll use overlay fill and I'll call this dodge okay no. We again, all right. I think we are making sense now. So I'm gonna come here and bring in um, this dude first. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this. All right, so this is basket out, and um, I'll put. Just picture a little bit. Okay. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, please. All right, so, um, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna create a mask. I'm gonna, why, why do I keep saying mask? I'm gonna create a new layer. So I'll call this burn. I'll call this overlay. Favorite overlay. And burn again. And um, this time I'm gonna create a marquee around this um, picture. So to do that, I'm hold. On, I'm gonna hold on Control and click. Whether you're a Mac user, just click Command. Just hold on Command, and then you click on the thumbnail of the layer. So I'm brushing now. I'm gonna zoom in more so I can see what I'm doing clearly. Don't worry about the red fill on his face. I'm sure when we start applying the color blend, it won't um, it won't be that visible anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new layer again, and I'll call this one Dodge and um say overlay again fill with overlay neutral color 50 cent gray and um i use dodge this time and stop dodging the picture so my touch button on the picture go to d to deselect all right okay so let's do this so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to go to adjustments and i'm going to choose hue saturation and reduce the strength of the color all right yeah I'm supposed to do it on all the pictures so i'm going to move this up right here good and um, I'll click on um, okay no I need to bring this in so I'm going to position this here and I'll scale it scale it and then I'll move it down and create a mask brush and I'll start brushing zero alright 
So for this one, I'm going to stop here. Okay. And then, um, yeah. Then I'll go to adjustment layer, go to gradient, and um, I'll click here and I'll make this. Um, I'll make this four six three one one no one one B. Okay, click here. And then make this um six two not six two six two four it's two D so, okay again and I click here and I'll make this C one it's C five and then ah uh, no this too much let me be uh, uh, let me see if I make it six. Uh, I think six is better. And I'll come here and change this to D. D1, B3, B3, 9, 4. Now, but ju now, just in case you want to have the, you want to keep using this gradient that you just created. I would advise you hit this new um, button here. So if you click new now, you see it to automatically add it to the list of gradients you have. All right. So just in case you want to keep using it, just you don't need to create any any um, new uh, gradient like this again. What you just do is come back here and then just select it and it to apply it to the um, gradient adjustment that you want to apply it to. So I'm going to click OK now. And I'll select uh, my blend mode and make this color. And um, I'll reduce the opacity to something of this color, uh, I guess. Something of this color is cool for me. Yeah, yeah I think this is cool. And um, I'm going to make a screenshot. Not before I do that, I almost forgot. I need to add one more thing. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add this um, image and I'll position this here, reduce the size a little bit. Position this here again. Then I'm going to move this here and um, create a mask again. And then I'll start brushing as usual. So I'm brushing now, clean off this cloud. Don't want the cloud to be visible. I don't want people to know that they are not one picture. So I'm taking out the cloud. So I'll make a new layer. And I'll call this noise. So okay. I make this um, black. Fill it with black. So I fill it with I fill the layer with alt backspace. And um, I'll go to filter noise hard noise increase the level of the noise should we use monochrome uh, yeah let's use monochrome and um, I'll go to filter sharpen smart sharpen and um, I'll make this um, Sorry, I'm also glad that is out of the frame. Alright, so I'll make this okay. So I'll leave it as is and I'll say okay. And let's make it soft light and reduce the size, the opacity a little bit. just a little bit and um, I'll hit control shift alt e 
to create a screenshot of all the layers or for Mac users just say command shift alt and E and um, I'll go to filter now and select camera roll alright so I have my camera roll already open so first I'm gonna reduce the yellow on the on the image increase the exposure a little bit reduce the shadow reduce the highlight increase the white Okay, increase clarity and um, go to sharpness and increase the sharp. I'm gonna make this um, 11. Actually, let's make it 14. Let's make it 14 and um. And I'll come here and uh, I'll increase the shadow team. No, sorry. Um, red, red primary, not shadow tints. Red primary. I'll adjust the saturation under that to increase more to add more red. All right. Um, just have a little red to it. Uh, make this uh, just need a red. No, that's too much, so make it go back to zero. Nice. And um, let's see what this will give us. trying to blend the colors here okay so just um, bear with me okay so I'm gonna move this here all right so I think this is it so I am going to click OK beautiful okay so one last thing that I'm gonna do again on the um, on this layer is to add um, to make um, vignette on it so to do that I am going to go to adjustment panel and add curve then I'll push this down to push this down and select brush increase the size of my brush because make sure you're using soft rounded brush and I will just click once and once again and I'll click once again and I'll reduce the size of my brush and I'll keep clicking till I get the um, desired result that I want for this. Okay. Alright, so I am going to reduce the size of my brush. Now, switch to white and just um, reduce the size of the brush here. And I'll just push this side. Okay. Make good. Now I know there's something here, so I need to clear this part off. So I'll come here, click on this icon, this tool, eyedropper tool, and go to brush. Is the size of the brush and ouch no 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 we're gonna I need okay I'm going to create um a screenshot of the layers again or better still I'll hide this layer first and I'll hold on I on my keyboard and click to sample a color from that area and I'll create a new layer and I'll call this um brush and I'll brush okay brush then I'll use this the opacity a little bit okay okay so um I think that's it 
so let's start bringing in our texts let's start bringing in our text so I'm going to make this visible again and I'll click here and type capital letter turn on and B double O T and um, I'll make this white now increase the size this time increase the size just a little bit oh man I think I over position this image alright so what I'll do is in that case I'm going to come here I'm going to position this here alright and I'll hide this layer then I'll make it visible so I'll know where I'm gonna crop it's not cool at all so what I'll do is I'll position it here well, I'll have to position it here all right position it here and I'll start cropping now So I'll make selection, click OK, and I'll click here. Nope. I'll hold on Alt and click on the text layer, and I'll increase the opacity. And I have this. All right. So I am going to bring in the next text that says "The Lost." The Lost. Then I reduce the opacity. I may reduce the size of the the text. All right. Reduce the size of the letters. Okay. And um. All right. So I'm gonna bring this in. I'll position this here. And to get this online, it's very easy. Just go to Google Image and type um, movie poster cast PNG. And I'm sure this also will be part of the options you're going to see on the, on the net. So I'll go to color overlay. And I am going to change this to white. And I'll say OK. But I'm still not satisfied with this button part because I can't really see my text clearly so I'm gonna push this down nice I think it's better now or did I overdo it yes yeah, better now so I'm gonna increase the size of my brush make sure this is set to white and make sure your foreground is set to white not this all right so I'm gonna reduce the opacity a little bit okay so uh, this is where I'm gonna stop I really appreciate you guys for um, spending time watching this tutorial and please remember to hit the like button if you like this video and if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button below I'll see you in my next tutorial Bye.